Hi, welcome to VNN. We all know how Markham Municipality has, over the past few years, uh, been at the forefront of the entertainment industry in the York region. As a part of these efforts, uh, the first ever Markham Talent Open Casting Call has now been launched for artists in the region. Uh, we have with us uh, Markham Councillor Amanda Iung Kolochi and uh, Renu Mehta, a communications specialist, uh, to tell us what this is all about. Uh, welcome to VNN, Councillor Kolochi and Renu. Thank you. Well, th yeah, thank you very much, Bala. Yeah, so I think that, um, you know, one of the biggest reasons why uh, myself and also uh, Markham Arts Council is launching this uh, never been seen and never been done event um, is it, really wanted to kind of put uh, City of Markham into the driving force uh, to promote entertainment, arts and culture within the entire uh, York region. Uh, recently, you know, a, a lot of people have heard a lot of news about uh, Ryan Reynolds is going to be um, you know, yeah, a world class, that, a yeah. very, very large uh, movie studio. Mm -hmm. And that really just to show that there is a lot of appetites, um, you know, within Markham uh, to grow this industry. So why I would say that this is a never been done and never been seen uh, event is because, um, you know, as you can see that, you know, behind me, uh, you know, there's a, a big judging panel there that yeah. uh, they're all industry uh, related people. So, you know, including, including uh, casting directors, talent agents, um, your know, model agents, um, you know, uh, uh, producers, uh, all these people, they're all currently working within industry. I didn't mention that your know, um, Juno Award nominee, uh, singer, songwriter, Robert Slaterall, who actually used to play with, um, for, for the uh, Platinum Blondes, Kim Mitchell, and also Honeymoon Suite. Uh, he's also part of the judging panel as well. And also the Juno Award uh, Board of Directors uh, voting member is also going to be on the uh, judging panel. So this is a really good event to really connect our local talent uh, with the industry experts. And more importantly, all the prizes that we're providing they're also industry related as well. And all those are really aimed to grow and nurture our local talents here. So uh, that's why I said it is a never been done and never been seen event is ex absolutely exciting and really puts city of Markham on the map. Who yeah. I mean, the, idea? the idea? I mean, who conceived the idea first? It was well, tough. Amanda <laughs> idea. Yeah. yeah, so that so that is really my my brainchild, and you know, um, as the vice chair of economic development and culture, uh, this is really my vision to put city of Markham on the map and in the driving seat, and to be the leading force, uh, you know, to grow this ecosystem within city of Markham. Because like yo, when you think about it, you know, if Ryan Reynolds really is going to build a movie studio here, we're going to need a big labor force within city of Markham and also your all of your region. So that labor force, um, including everything, right? Encompasses everything, including, you know, the, the front line, uh, which is, you know, actor, singer, songwriter, dancer, uh, model, and other performers. But at the same time, you know, the back end people is also very important because they're the one who actually make this industry go around, right? So including a uh, casting director, um, your know, producers and, um, you so I, I wanted to kind of you know, have this event as almost like a launching pad yeah. to kind of you know attract all these industry people here in city of Markham and also in York region and uh, to send them a message that Markham is open for business. We're ready. Yeah. So the you have it, you know? yeah. Sorry, the competition really held for all. I mean, uh, uh, in two groups, age sixteen and under, and age seventeen and over, mm -hmm. and have to submit a 60 second take uh, and the deadline is May 1st the so time, yeah. works studies or lives in York region is eligible to apply for this so it's a huge opportunity for all that pool of talent out there who wishes to be judged uh, to have this um, uh, impressive array of judging panel view their videos every video will be viewed so uh, i would come and uh, you know send your um, you know send your tape 
uh, and send uh, and May first once again is the is, is the uh, deadline. So please come ahead, dancers, musicians, you know, um, uh, actors, models, magicians, or any performing artists. There's no upper age limit, eh? No, there, there's no age limit because um, like this is really the reality of entertainment industry, right? So they need all kind of people. So even though, you know, people with disabilities, um, you know, we also welcome them uh, to apply as well. Because, you know, like we actually have come across some kind of a casting call um, okay. that they specifically ask for people with disabilities. So uh, when you think about it, that this industry is extremely inclusive and uh, that is a very um, same as City of Markham where extremely inclusive and we're very diverse um you know all the details are on our website which is www.markhamtalent.ca so just like i renew is saying that um all the uh, the video um audition um they have to be submitted by may the 1st 5 p.m eastern standard time and when yeah. is it going to be held i mean uh, when are the events going to start so the semifinals are on May 12th okay. and will be on May 13th in Markham. And I, mean, I just want to know, is this going to be a, a plan as an annual event? Well, this is my goal to uh, to make it an annual event. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that Markham Arts Council will want to continue to partner with us and uh, you know to co-organize uh, this event. And um, you know, I, I just see that like you know, City of Markham and also York Region has so such a big talent pool. And um, you know, even though those uh, people who submitted their uh, audition didn't make it to the semifinal, they can continue to grow their their skill and tune their art and then so that they can resubmit again next year so um this is my goal because you know when i see that um uh, you know having this event on an annual basis is really a way to continue to encourage any of the talent to um you know chase their dreams um you know when you think about that oscar uh just happened and um you know there is a lot of history making moment um you know for south asians and also for asian as well and um you know i think that is a big message to send that you know film making is definitely is a viable choice um you know for our the you know, for, for the new generation, right? And, um, you know, if we have a dream, uh, we should chase it. So this uh, Markham Arts Council, I mean, uh, that's a private organization, eh? Uh, um, you know, Bala, I'm the vice chair of the Markham Arts Council also. Okay. And it's a non-profit organization. We've been around for 19 years. Oh. And, yeah, and we support all the artists, um, uh, whether they be performing artists, or other artists mm -hmm. um, in Markham. We have several programs focused towards them, uh, like the Healing Dance for Seniors. We have um, the, um, you know, uh, the Heritage Walks we've done. We've done uh, Walk for Art. We've done several other initiatives during COVID. Uh, Markham Music, Experience Markham Music. Uh, so we try and encourage all the artists, the music, the dance, and um, the painters, uh, you know, all of them, we encourage them and uh, to support uh, to support these artists. And the city of Markham is a big support to us. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to tie up with uh, uh, Councillor Amanda Colucci because this is a wonderful initiative yeah. and it will help the artists uh, after we've come out of COVID also. So it will be a great help to them. I've just noticed, I mean, why there is no, why there is no mention of, uh, say, literary arts? It's only performing arts. I mean, behind the script uh, for filmmaking or whatever you need, somebody to write scripts and uh, writers. Well, I, I think that you, I think that you're asking a very, very excellent question, Bala. So the answer is, let's take one step at a time. Okay, so this event, uh, like I mentioned before, that is a launching pad um, for many, many opportunities to come. So um, I think that like you know, the, the first step is really let's identify all these uh, performing arts talent, right? And like I said that, you know, because those prizes uh, include like, say for example, casting workshop, um, you know, categorization workshop, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one dance coaching, 
uh, modeling, uh, coaching, runway. Um, all of these is really to aim to grow the talents here locally in city of Markham and also all of York region. Now, um, you may ask that, you know, what's coming up the pipe? Yes, there will be more coming up the pipe. So just stay tuned. It's almost like, you know, at the end of the movie, it says, coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> This is just your trailer, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. So let's focus on one event at a time. Like right now, uh, we really absolutely wanted to see what our talent has to offer and what they can do. So make sure that you submit your uh, video, um, you know, whether you think that you can make it or you don't, you, you won't make it. You will never know. Because just like Renu is saying that all these audition tape will be viewed by our judging panel. So, you know, in their eyes, who got potential and he who didn't get potential is them to make that call. So I would say that submit so that our judging panel will be see what you can do. So this is uh, not limited. I mean, uh, it's open to amateurs and professionals. Huh? Mm, that's a good question too. So um, all clearly, you know, if you're already making a living um, out of this, um, um, you know, performing art, like mm -hmm. say for example, if you're already a full-time uh, dancer or, you know, you're already making to the Broadway, um, you know, that is not really what we're looking for, right? Okay. So um, if you're professional already, um, obviously, you know, that is not something that we will be asking, but we're more of asking those up and coming uh, next stars, right? So uh, people is waiting to be discovered. And then when, what about funding? I mean, the, is as a municipality set up um, a lot of money for this project? No, 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 no. This is this is uh, fully, totally a uh, volunteer basis. And in fact, you know, at the back here, you know, all these judges, um, they're also volunteering their time right. to uh, to help judge this uh, event as well. So the funding is uh, mainly provided by um, our sponsors, which is on this side. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, so um, off my screen there. So uh, there's a lot of sponsors. Um, you know, they are passionate about um, you know, pro promoting uh, entertainment industry and art and culture within the city of Markham, and um, also you know, relying on ticket sales. So this is like you know, uh, Renee has mentioned that um, you know, Markham Arts Council is a nonprofit organization. Right, it's a nonprofit organization. So every year that they will need fundraising events to help them to fund their operating expenses and stuff. So this event is also a fundraising event for Markham Arts Council. And we are very grateful to uh, Councillor Kaluji for that. I think it's an amazing am event, and I think we will attract a lot of talent. So it's a win-win situation for everybody. Do you have and any this, numbers? I mean, how many people uh, do you expect to sort of uh, submit entries? Well, yeah, so so we just uh, had our the media launch on the 9th, which is uh, last Thursday. So uh, we have been hearing a lot of feedback, positive feedback from the community that they're going to submit their audition. Now, we have to give them some time to prepare for that act to uh to tape that video so um you know that line is may the first at 5 p.m so we got time but obviously uh bala just like you said don't wait till last minute right yeah. so submit now if you already got your audition tape ready make your submission now yeah and once again, the website is www.markhamtalent.c and on on the, on the website, if I may add, uh, the the judges have also put down videos uh, in what they are expecting from uh, the different types of talent who will be applying, the performers who will be applying. So, for instance, Robert Laidlaw has talked about what he expects, how they should uh, send their, uh, what they should look for when they are sending their videotape. So I would urge everybody to take a look at the website, go through the website, www.markhamtalent.ca. Yeah. So one thing that I wanted to add is, I just wanted to kind of remind all the registrant, make sure that when you, you uh, tape your video is in horizontal, yeah. horizontal. <laughs> Not vertical, right? Because like yo, our screen is picture here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's why this way. So you know, in in order to cover, uh, maximize the footage of 
you know, what you wanted to show the judges. So horizontal, not vertical. And, um, you know, just mainly to, to have fun, right? So, um, you know, www.markhamtalent.ca. So there's a lot of information there. So uh, take a look. And obviously, you know, if you have any questions, uh, you can also send um, a message to us, which is also on the website as well. Apart from the Markham Arts Council, are there any other cultural organizations uh, supporting you? Yeah, so so I would say that you know the uh, uh, Chinese community is um, is very very excited about this event, and uh, from what I hear that you know the South Asian community is also extremely excited um, as well because you know like when you think about it, you know all the different ethnic groups that we all got talent. We all got talent. And one thing about that, um, you know, this industry, you know, the, the entertainment industry or arts and culture industry, it seems to be so mysterious to a lot of people, right? So they just, you know, see all these stars on the screen and they really don't know where to start and how they can start or even, you know, make a notice, right? And uh, I think that this event is going to kind of unveiling this mysterious industry. And I think that the first step, uh, we've already done it, which is the um, the press conference introducing, um, you know, a very, very impressive panel of judges. All these people, you may not recognize their name on a daily basis, but these people uh, are the one who work in the background to make everything happen. So they're the mover and shaker of the industry. And um, you know, that is the first step to kind of unveil uh, who they are. And um, you know, hopefully that by the end of this event that you know, we'll ac actually able to kind of increase the awareness of this so-called mysterious industry. <laughs> and uh, what's coming after this? I mean, something else coming uh, um, germinating in your mind after this event? <laughs> Well, like I said, stay tuned, coming <laughs> soon. Like right now, all the focus is all on this event. And um, you know, we'll, we'll see who is, you know, who will be applying and uh, you know, what kind of uh, talents or stars that we're able to uh, discover. So um, like say, for example, you know, the head judge, uh, Patricia uh, Droz, um, she actually discovered Karen Moss, wow. who played in The Matrix. So, um, you know, you will never know, you, you will never know what we can, what we can find. And, um, you know, this is going to be a great launching pad uh, to promote the industry, uh, arts and culture, and also the uh, entertainment industry uh, within City of Markham. And it's going to put Mar City of Markham on the map and also in the driving and leading force within York region. Is Ontario government uh, supporting this? Well, um, I think that we're actually exploring uh, possibilities to apply some funding from the Ontario government, right? And also the federal governments. We'll see. Uh, but I think that like, yo, right now, uh, like I said that, yo, this is uh, going to be a, um, a fundraising event uh, for Markham Arts Council. So, um, yo, Markham Arts Council is also a very, very key organization uh, to promote arts and culture within the city of Markham. So, um, you know, they're a great partner and, um, you know, we, we look forward to have a great and successful event. That's very good. Yeah, <laughs> I think you will. I think you will. And the Markham Arts Council has been doing a lot of activities, isn't it, over the past few years? Yeah, we've been doing a lot of acti activities during COVID, actually, uh, you know, and we've done several programs. The Healing Dance for Seniors has been continuing. We also had... Uh, Artist Unplugged, where we invited artists to send their videos and we put them on our YouTube channel and we paid everybody, all of those artists. So we tried to trust everybody during this difficult time. And we also have um, uh, Experience Markham Music, whereby we paid part of uh, uh, the money to the fees for the artists to play in different restaurants within the city. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, that way, you know, they were the artists were sustained during this difficult time. They got to get their art out. A lot of people were, as you know, we were all sh uh, shut in, um, you know, and we were not. So this was a great. We had some great programming for the artists of Markham. Yeah, I think and this will be a very it, successful event. It looks like uh, very good. All the best, uh, <laughs> Councillor Kolochi and uh, Renu. Uh, yes. Thanks for speaking with us uh, about this uh, free Markham Talent Casting Call and uh, wishing you all the best. 
Well, thank, thank you, you so much. And we'll be we'll be covering it anyway in uh, quite detail later. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Amanda Colucci. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Thanks.